guys, I am back again for another video and another Christmas haul, another year. Time goes by so dang fast. Whatever. <laughs> but it has been a great year for a lot of things. But even though we've been through the um, most terrible things that have been going on this year. So um, aside from that crap, I really had a good time with 2019 with a lot of good stuff. We had new Jurassic World figures, new Jurassic content from comics and uh, stories to be shown all over the place, Battle at Big Rock and uh, all that, and even stuff like Star Wars Rise of Skywalker, which in my opinion is a pretty good movie. I really loved it, even though I have a few gripes about it after thinking about it, but yeah, I like the movie a lot. And um, yeah, there's a lot of things that happened in 2019, and uh, oh yeah, the 30th anniversary of The Little Mermaid. Got into loving that movie and finally collecting a lot of things from that. So um, yeah, I really enjoyed 2019 so far. But as you see right here is the Dino Rivals Tyrannosaurus Rex aesthetic right here. And this is just a new set that I pretty much came up with. As you can see, this is a new set set up for um, upcoming reviews for like small to medium sized dinosaurs. And my goodness, the autofocus is going crazy. Hold on a second. There we go. So yeah, this is just just a small set it's not it's not anything too big so i used basically like half of what the gyrosphere blast vehicle package had and the baryonyx battle set or the baryonyx escape set whatever did i just forget what that was whatever but um yeah i used both those little backdrops and taped a lot of it together and that's that's how it's gonna look so it's nothing too special but it's just something um to use before i switch over to another backdrop or something but with all honesty, let's just go ahead and get over the three Jurassic World products that I'm going to go over for this Christmas haul. And yep, I'm getting right to the nitty gritty since this package is right here. So the first thing I got is the most obvious one. Primal Attack, Velociraptor Charlie. Yep, I got her. And she looks really amazing. She's also in pretty good condition. And yes, the eyes are completely normal. No damage whatsoever. They're completely fine. I really love the figures so far. <laughs> Actually, not so far. I really like it a lot. The detailing is great, and you'll be seeing a review of this pretty darn soon with this new backdrop. So, um, yeah, that's this figure. Really happy to get this. And the second thing I got, yep, the the Lapasaurus from Dino Rivals. The repainted variation that everybody almost hates. I mean, almost everybody hates. Why do I say everybody almost? That makes no sense. <laughs> You'll be seeing a review of this come by pretty soon. And already, I will tell you, I am impressed with the figure, except for the action feature. Yeah, I'll, I'll get over a little bit more of the, about that. And last but not least, Triceratops version two. I really love this figure from day one seeing it I really couldn't wait to get this figure and yes the lighting over here makes the paint job look different and so as like you see it without even filming it but despite that I really love this Triceratops it's got such a cool nostalgic paint job for many people who are a fan of Kenner and um yeah, it's just like one of those uh, figures that we had previously that is a callback to Kenner's dinosaurs, and that's why I love the figure so much. So you'll be seeing a review of that come out pretty darn soon. So let me get that. And let's go switch the backdrop. Yep, got the blue backdrop here, and um, this one right here is pretty awesome. My dad got me this one. It's this sound speaker here. Just looking at it from here, it actually looks pretty freaking good to see it. But yet again, this is a Aurora Studio 2 sound speaker, and um, it's awesome. Just turning it on already freaking gets me hyped up to listen to my music. Look at that. That is just awesome. And I almost forgot to show this one, but here is another Christmas gift that I got. Yep, we're going into Star Wars territory. And the character that I got it so happens to be Dr. Afra. Who is that character, you may ask? Well, um, she's an expanded universe character that we don't even know much about. I mean, 
everybody knows about it, but not me even particularly. But I did see her in a few Jurassic Park toy movies. That happens to be her. Right down here. Not too sure if I'm going to do a review on this figure, be considering that most of my Star Wars figure reviews are not technically the most popular thing in my channel. Or more, like, more likely my second channel. But I will say... I might not do a review of this figure, only because that, well, Star Wars figure reviews at this point is dead. Okay, not really, but just just for me. But, um, yeah, I love this figure, mainly because the figure's aesthetic and, well, as you can say, the likeness. I guess everything about the figure just screams freaking amazing. I really love this figure. And also, the best thing is I don't have any problems on the leg joints, so she is, um... She's kicking ass. Yeah. Love it. She's a really interesting looking figure and character as well. And she'll also be a new character in most of my Jurassic Park toy movies that I will be making. Including a movie that I will be still in production and I will continue working on it. So uh, yeah, expect to see her in the next movie I'm making. Also, Star Wars fans, if you know about this character, forgive me for not knowing that much about it. But I did go and research who this character is. So yeah, I do my research. I'm a Star Wars fan, come on, I love it. And the last thing I got to show for this Christmas haul is definitely something that I was really trying to find, but it wasn't even in stores. The only place I can look for was on Amazon. So, yeah, this is what I have. Straight from the Disney Princess Hasbro toy line, this is the evening boat ride from the Little Mermaid. And um, yeah, I'm glad I picked it up. And the best thing about this is that I have this as an early Christmas present. All three Little Mermaid movies in this Canadian port set from uh, Vintage Stock. I found this at Vintage Stock at one of my local Vintage Stock stores. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty glad that I got them all. This inc this includes, and uh, I think this is a 2013-14 release of this particular The Little Mermaid. The first one, because considering now I got two copies, which is the 30th anniversary version. And the original... I mean, no, not original. I mean, that would be for the DVD. This is um, the Blu-ray from 2014 alongside the sequel and prequel that I was trying to find. And I finally got them and couldn't be any more happier. Just seeing all three Little Mermaid films and finally getting all three of them in one uh, collection. All I need to do is find the series or they need to release the series on blu-ray or dvd or something because we never got it it's only available on streaming services so yeah you'll be seeing this going over in a new uh movie collection update video and seeing this as an overview coming soon oh and this jet on the floor oh yeah that's a bonus early christmas gift that i forgot to even tell you about so um uh, yeah, it doesn't have any batteries, it doesn't even function right, but yet again, I picked this up at Family Dollar for only like $15, I guess. It's pretty cheap. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for putting it on a black screen, but I don't even have anything else to show right now. That's basically it. So yeah, that's it for this Christmas haul video, and um, see you guys later.